In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Sonnet Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock. This dock is the perfect solution to expand the connectivity of your Thunderbolt 4 enabled device and also to simplify your setup and add so many more ports that you can use, all with just one cable connected to your computer. This Thunderbolt 4 dock is also backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3, so even if you have a slightly older MacBook, this dock will work great for you. If you're tired of plugging and unplugging a bunch of cables from your computer, then the Echo 11 is a great way to simplify your setup and allow all your devices to just be connected to one port. All your displays, storage, and other peripherals can be plugged into the one dock, and then when you're ready to take your laptop somewhere at the end of the day, all you have is one cord to unplug. In the box, we find the Thunderbolt 4 dock, a Thunderbolt 4 cable, and a big power brick to power it all. The Echo 11 has a metal chassis and is compact so it doesn't take up much space on your desk, but if you wanna travel with it, you'll have to transport a bulky power adapter. This is a price worth paying though as it supplies up to 90 watts of power to your computer. The front has a UHS-2 SD card slot rated for up to 312 megabytes per second, a USB 2.0 type A charging port, a headphone and microphone combo jack, and the host Thunderbolt port that supplies the 90 watts of power to a laptop. It also has a power light and a link light as well as a power button. The power button is a feature I haven't seen included on many Thunderbolt docks. The back has the DC power port as well as three Thunderbolt 4 ports, a 1 gigabit Ethernet port, and three USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports. The only thing I don't like about it is I wish the USB port on the front was USB 3 and not USB 2. The dock allows you to connect up to two 5K displays or one 8K display. The back has three Thunderbolt ports and it allows you to daisy chain up to five Thunderbolt peripherals. I do wish it had an HDMI port built in just for simplicity's sake, but you can turn any of the Thunderbolt ports in an HDMI port with the correct adapter. I've seen these docks priced as low as $220 and as high as $320. These are worth it if you need to create a connected system that allows you to easily and quickly move your laptop from your desktop setup to another location. One other thing to note is that Thunderbolt 4 allows for up to 40 gigabits per second. This is spread through the whole Thunderbolt 4 bus. What this means is that if your connected devices are trying to use more than 40 gigabits per second, you'll create a bottleneck and you won't be able to take advantage of the full speed of all those different devices. This shouldn't be a problem unless you're trying to stack a ton of high speed storage and high quality displays on the single dock. And if this does become a problem, you might just need to move some of those devices to another port on your computer instead of into the one dock. I didn't notice any slowdowns using my external SSDs in the spare Thunderbolt ports on the dock versus those built into my computer. Overall, the dock works great and I've had no issues with it keeping up with the power demands of a 16 inch or a 14 inch MacBook Pro running Ableton Live, Final Cut Pro and other video and audio software. This is a solid, durable dock that would be a fantastic investment to simplify your desktop setup and allow you to connect a variety of peripherals all into one port in your computer all while powering it. Thanks for watching this video. If you found value in this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Also, if you're interested in any of the gear in this video, all links are in the description below.